Ajit Narayanan was selected for the 2011 TOR35 list of the top innovators under 35 for his work in literally giving a voice to the voiceless. Narayanan created a speech synthesis tablet for people rendered mute by conditions such as autism or cerebral palsy. The tablet is not only significantly cheaper than Western equivalents, but, crucially, it can also cope with India's unusual multilingual culture. India has um, the world's largest population of people with disabilities. And there are a number of institutions that are specialized in the care of these uh, people with disabilities, especially children. And these institutions do a fantastic job. Uh, but the level of technology intervention in this country is very, very low in terms of how it assists people with disabilities. So even though there is a very warm and caring ecosystem um, for these children, nonetheless, they are denied the opportunity to get an education which is comparable to other children. And so we started developing this particular product, Avaz, because of this particular condition that exists in the country. In fact, we were requested by a special school in Chennai, um, in South India, to come up with something that would help our children communicate. The idea being that if they are given the ability to communicate, they will be able to get education, they will be able to get employment, and they will be able to achieve inclusion in society. As we started developing it, we also realized that there are several reasons that we need to invent a device specific for India. For example, most people in India are multilingual. In fact, most children who go to school can speak English, they can also speak a second language, which is often uh, one of the regional languages, and they also speak their native mother tongue. So this was the primary thing that we had to address, the problem that in India, the children need a multilingual speech experience. Avaaz is the very first device of its kind in India. There haven't been any other speech generating devices with the kind of capabilities that Avaaz has. And therefore, it's only with usage that we are able to figure out how to make the device better. For example, we find that the needs of people with autism or the needs of people with cerebral palsy or the needs of people with aphasia are actually quite different from one another. And we are looking at products now for each specific disability. And we are trying to see if we can build mathematical and scientific models and convert that into computer software. That will help us to really bring a solution which is appropriate for a specific disability and provide that part of the communication chain as a software solution for somebody using an iPad or somebody using an Android tablet. That's an important area of research for us. Avaaz has been a tremendously satisfying experience for me. This is because of two reasons. First of all, we're working on the cutting edge of technology. And on the other hand, we're also working on something which has incredible impact. I've seen children create poetry using Avaaz, children who are non-verbal. And one of the high points of my life so far is when I saw a school for children with special needs put up a skit during their annual school day and all the children were using Avaaz devices to speak their dialogues. I think that's incredible. The combination of doing real good engineering and having a really visible impact, I don't think I could have asked for anything more.